It's fun. It's wild. It's Dad's Gone Crypto. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dad's Gone Crypto. I'm by myself again today, so decided to do a quick episode on some really big news that's out there today. Um, in fact, there's some people saying that this is the absolute biggest news of 2023. Uh, it's been out since Monday, but not very many people are talking about it yet. So what is that big news? Well, it's the fact that PayPal launched its own stablecoin called PayPal USD with the ticker PYUSD. Now on the surface, that may not sound like a really huge deal. I mean, there's already a ton of stable coins to choose from out there in the market. So, you know, what's the big deal about this one, right? Well, the big deal is the fact that PayPal has over 435 million customers. Million customers. 435 million customers. <laughs> and they now have a really safe and easy on-ramp on the crypto. Um, you know, PayPal already helped you know, get a lot of these users into crypto back in 2020 uh, by allowing them to purchase Bitcoin on the platform. But the fact of the matter is Bitcoin can be a very volatile asset. Um, so the vast majority of PayPal users out there really didn't jump on board when Bitcoin was first offered to them. A lot did, but, you know, not nearly that 435 million users. But now with a stable coin that's backed one to one by U.S. dollars, a huge number of those PayPal users will probably feel much safer, you know, getting their feet wet into crypto. So these people feeling safer getting into crypto, I mean, we're talking about a lot of people out there. Uh, this could, it could be absolutely huge for bringing more retail money into crypto for this upcoming bull run. So I am super excited about it. And I can tell you, I, there are a lot of people out there that uh, also are super excited about it. Um, let me share my screen here. And uh, we'll just take a peek at, you know, what some people out there in the industry are saying. Okay, so here's one, uh, you know, just as I just said. Uh, the headline here, the PayPal stablecoin is bigger news than any Bitcoin ETF. Uh, this is by Carl Vogel, and it's on uh, BlockWorks if you want to go check it out. But, uh, you know, we'll go through here real quick. And basically what he's saying is that the, you know, the launch of PYUSD, it's the biggest crypto news in 2023. And he's saying exactly what I was saying. <clears throat> this is bigger news than even Bitcoin ETF approvals. Um, I mean, we'll go on and read here. You know, PayPal has always been an early crypto adopter relative to their banking and fintech peer group. Uh, and he goes on to say in September of 2020, they helped initiate the bull cycle by bring, being the first large fintech to allow their millions of users to buy crypto. Uh, true. Uh, we talked about that a second ago. Um, Let's see. PayPal's entry into crypto helped legitimize it as an asset class and change the agenda board <laughs> and change the agenda of board meetings globally. All those directors out there started asking CEOs, what is your crypto strategy? And uh, companies rushed to develop slide decks, partnerships and a broad suite of pro products. And he goes on to say, you know, back to the headline. Why is it bigger news than ETF? Well, through PYUSD, PayPal is on a journey to onboard millions of people to crypto. And that's those, you know, 435 million users I was talking about uh, and public blockchains. While a Bitcoin ETF would instead ultimately lock users into the, into the traditional financial system, PYUSD can be sent to public Ethereum addresses 24-7, 365 as opposed to an ETF products, which, you know, only trade during market hours. So basically what he's saying here is that, you know, PayPal starting up this stable coin is going to allow, you know, millions of users to be onboarded into real crypto um, rather than what an AT ETF product uh, provides. So let's, uh, let's go see what else people are, who else is talking about here. Let's go find another article. Here's another article. Forbes is talking about it. Uh, and look at what Forbes is saying. PayPal leads what could be a stablecoin stampede. So Forbes is thinking that, um, you know, this could lead to a whole lot of other companies looking to start stablecoins. So PayPal's branded stablecoin, which the payments company launched on Monday, is likely to be a trendsetter, according to Forbes here. Uh, multiple payments, e-commerce companies, and banks, including large traditional financial institutions, have expressed interest in using or issuing 
digital dollars with Paxos. And Paxos is the issuer of PayPal's uh, PYUSD. Uh, and that's according to a source familiar with the negotiations. Now, no names have been disclosed, but Walter Hassert, Paxos's head of strategy, said in a Coindesk interview Tuesday that the firm has talked with a lot of the largest technology and financial services companies about stablecoins, integrating stablecoins, launching white label stable stablecoins in some cases. And he added, we think there's going to be a lot of really exciting followers here to PayPal. So basically, you know, Forbes magazine here is saying that uh, there's a whole lot of other companies that are going to follow suit. And I'll tell you, if that happens, you know, the more people that are, the more big banking institutions that are bringing uh, stable coins into and allowing their users to access stable coins is really going to just bring so many more mainstream, you know, non-crypto people into crypto. And it could be absolutely huge. Now let's go take a peek at another headline. So here we have CNBC and they have their, um, you know, their whole section on crypto called Crypto World. Uh, CNBC talking about it here. PayPal is trying to drag its 435 million users into the $120 billion stablecoin market. And here's why. So they're saying that they're trying to drag them in, but... <laughs> Quite honestly, I mean, that's some, uh, you know, some people are going to come in kicking and screaming, but uh, I got a feeling lots and lots and lots of mainstream people are going to be coming into crypto over this stuff. And again, uh, this whole article, this is actually a good interview. I watched this interview um, earlier. And uh, if you want to go check this out again, it's on CNBC Crypto World. I'm not going to play it for you now, but um, basically they have the they have PayPal's head of uh, crypto, their head of their crypto division. Uh, does a uh, good little interview here and talks a lot about it um, and about, you know, basically why they got into it and, um, you know, and what uh, they're thinking it can bring for PayPal and um, all of its users. So if you want to check that one out on your own. So let's go take a peek right here on Google and just uh, see what's what are the trending topics here on uh, the PayPal stablecoin. And what's funny here, let's see. So we've got PayPal right at the top, you know, talking about their stablecoin being launched. And of course, all these articles we were just checking out. But I'll tell you what, this right here may be my absolute favorite thing about PayPal starting this um, <laughs> stablecoin. And that is that idiots like this woman right here, Maxine Water, <laughs> says she's deeply concerned about PayPal's new stablecoin. And I will tell you 100% from the bottom of my heart. If Maxine Waters hates it, I think it is a fantastic idea because this woman is a moron. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, yeah, get out there, search for this, and uh, you're going to find a million articles on why this is such a good thing. Um, I just thought it was just absolutely amazing news, and I um, just wanted to bring it to you guys and uh, give you a chance to, um, you know, get in there and kind of do your own research, check this stuff out. Um, you know, get out there and get out there and check it out because uh, this is absolutely an amazing story. And I think it really is going to bring a whole lot of new people into crypto. Um, anyway, uh, hey, hopefully you got a little bit of something out of this quick episode. Uh, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check us out. You know, join us on Telegram and um, get into the conversation over there and we can discuss things like this, uh, you know, this PayPal stablecoin and maybe some others that are coming in the market. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. It's been fun. See ya. The material and information presented in this recording are for entertainment purposes only. Do not misconstrue what you hear as investment or trading advice. Always do your own research. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the guests on this recording are their own and do not necessarily reflect those of Dad's Gone Crypto or its hosts.